This your boy D knows ball back with another video. Say so, hey, man, oh man, Cooper Flag versus AJ DeBons and Tyron Stokes. Cooper Flag, the number one player in 2024. AJ, the number one player in 2025. And Tyron Stokes is the number one player in 2026. They both play for Prolific Prep and Cooper Flag played for Monver. Now, they didn't already play each other on ESPN. And it was a good game. My very one. So, of course, I want to catch the rematch. Um, no, Darion Reed, by the way, which is actually a big deal. If you know high school basketball, he's a 10th rate player in 2024. But this game, say, man, I'm just going to start by saying this. Cooper Flag didn't have the greatest offensive performance. But with Cooper Flag, it's about the intangibles. I think Cooper Flag is, in my opinion, he the best prospect I've seen in a long time. And he, I can't think of a prospect better. I'm not finna talk out the side of my neck, so people be. You said he better. He ain't. Huh. Kawhi Leonard, Andre Iguodala. That's what I see when I watch Cooper Flag play. That level of an impact. Just imagine Cooper Flag is really supposed to be a junior. He reclassified to be a senior. Cooper Flag could still be a junior in college, y'all. I mean, a uh, junior in high school, y'all. So just look at his trajectory over the last couple years of his offensive game. He actually has developed the midi. He's catching shoot three. He's passing his playmaking. He has every tool in the toolbox. Cooper Flag could dominate on both ends at any given moment. Now, like I said, when he playing against, when he played against a uh, prolific player, he did it. Had the greatest offensive game, but just the little things, the defense, the playmaking. The, he has some post-entry passes, very simple stuff. But it's guys in the NBA right now that can't pass it into the post. They can't do it. It's guys in college that can't pass into the post. And it's it to me, it's just the simple plays. Like I said, I compare Cooper Flag to a Kawhi Leonard. That's like the highest level of a Cooper flag I can see his game getting to because he's not going to dance with the ball like a lot of one-on-one -on -one creators. He's going to get to his spot in the mid-range. He's going to pull up. He's going to hit you with some catch and shoots. He's going to one dribble, and then go take it to the rim. Like he's that type of player, a Kawhi Leonard, very, you know what I'm saying? How do I put it? He's a very ordinary scorer. But that's okay. It's very effective. And then I think on the defensive end, he can lock up like a Kawhi, but he has the defensive intangibles of an Andre Iguodala. So that's what I see with Cooper Flag. And he showed more of the defensive side of him in this game because his jumper just wasn't falling. He was taking good shots. And that's another thing with Cooper Flag. Even when he has a bad game, he doesn't have a bad game. AJ DeBancel. Uh... Cooper was kind of locking him up. And I, I think Cooper Flag is a generational defender. So AJ DeBansa, he he made most of the opportunities he got this game. I'm gonna say that. I will say he made the most of the opportunities he got. Like whether it was the three that he got in transition, the the, the three he got off a broken play, um, cuts to the basket when he beaten presses. Like he did all the things you would want him to do, like throughout a game if he's getting guarded by a defensive player that's to the level of Cooper Flag, He really did what he was supposed to do. So I, I didn't mind how A.J. played. And when I look at A.J. DeBouncer, I look at him as a real wing, but it can go two ways. Because when it comes to defense, he can play defense, but is he great defender, solid instincts, he can pass, but is he a great playmaker, solid passer? So he can go one or two ways when I'm talking about his NBA prospects. I see a guy at the top end. I, I, it's like a Brandon Ingram type of player. A Brandon Ingram type of player. I think he, he takes more threes than a Brandon Ingram play style. But that level of a player, he can get to that level of player on the NBA level. But I also can see him being like a Karis LeVert, which is still a good player. Karis LeVert is still a hell of a player. And as long as he stays healthy, 
I can see him going one of those two routes. That's what I see AJ DeBance. Karis Levert slash Brandon Ingram, those play style type of guys. Um, when I look at Tyron Stokes, and uh, I didn't mean not to take a lot of time on AJ DeBance, but this game, it was just very – he didn't get a lot of opportunities just because the defense of Cooper flag. Let's just keep it a buck. Just keep it a buck. But I really like AJ the bouncer. But I see I see either Karis Levert or Brandon Ingram with him. Um, but he, he you know, you know, these are just comps. These aren't just end all be all. Tyron Stokes, the number one, the number one sophomore. He's a sophomore, folks. His biggest strength is his strength, which is crazy right now. Like they had they had him um get the ball on a pin down, and he hit a corner three. He was taking – I think he – low-key, he played Derrick Queen out the game. Tyron Stokes is one of the main reasons why Derrick Queen had to sit, and they went small with Asa Newell and uh, Cooper Flag at, at center and power forward. I think Tyron Stokes, he kind of reminds me of a Cam Whitmore, but with a more consistent jumper. But – he he's a power player at at 15 years old. I think Tyron Stokes still 15, a sophomore. And he showed up big today. Uh that dunk. Whew, uh the Euro step. He just had a lot of things going on. And he just he's just a really good player at a young age. And I understand why he's the number one player as, as a sophomore. So I, I see Cam Whitmore with him. Um but his comp most definitely will change because this was our first year getting to watch him because as a sophomore, you can start to get more exposure. He just – I think this is his first year on Pro League Pelt, if I'm not mistaken. But, yeah, I don't know. I think – and then I think Montverde just – they have a – they're a better overall team. Like, they have role players. Like, Asa Newell, he's a top recruit, but he's a role player. Liam McNeil, he's a top player, but he's a role player. And then you look at Prolific Pelt. And, you know, you got the guys like Zoom Diallo, Aiden Sherrill, who are role players. But you have your main guys. And, you like I said, they missing Darion Reed, who's a big part of probably prep. He's the senior. He's the common voice on that, on that team. So that's a big deal. He's the number 10, number 10 player in 24. But Tyron Stokes and AJ DeBounce are, are get-bucket guys. So it's like – Late in the game, they did a lot of face guarding. So they kind of just let Mount Bird back cut their way into getting back in the game. Robert Wright started to just make tough layup after tough layup. And like I said, Cool Flag didn't have the grade this game. But defensively, he just, and intangible wise, he's damn near a gen. That's what I'm going to say about Cooper Flag. Cooper Flag is a generational defensive talent, he's going to be a defensive four. I can almost guarantee Cooper Flag get a defensive player of the year in the NBA. I can almost guarantee it because he plays hard. He plays hard like a role player, and he has all the tools. He's like 6'9", 6'10". His wingspan probably going to come out to be like 7'1", 7'2". So that's one thing about Cooper Flag that just separates him from even the number one junior, the number one sophomore, A.J. DeBeth and Tyron Stokes. Just the defensive impact when he's not – when his jumper is not falling, he didn't play good offensively, but he's just such a defensive force. He still was probably the best overall player in this game. But yeah, this is your boy D Knows Ball. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Let me know who's your favorite number one player: Cooper Flag, AJ DeBanza, or Tyron Stoke. I'm out. Found some shit I love to do, so I can look comfortable. Searching for a peace of mind. Need that when it's time to rhyme. Perfect in every line. Any chance I get, and I know it takes time, but I will never quit.